And I didn't want to end this podcast without talking about what you can do um, to remove these or decrease these in your life. I want to give you guys some actionable steps to move forward to decrease your glyphosate. I think the first thing that you can do is get your glyphosate level checked. You can go to Great Plains Labs, work with a doctor who is savvy, and they can order a glyphosate level. Use that as a baseline to start from. I haven't done that, interestingly, but I will do that in the future. Um, incidentally, I did talk to the grass-fed uh, operation here in Costa Rica, and they said that all of their grass is fresh. They never feed hay, so I don't have to worry about any hay sprayed with glyphosate in the meat that I'm eating. And they said that they never use herbicides on the property or have not in the last few years. And they're going to test their meat for glyphosate. So that was really a cool conversation for me with the folks here in Costa Rica who are called grass-fed Costa Rica. If you visit Costa Rica, give them some support, no affiliation in the podcast. But I would recommend that you do that with wherever you are getting your meat from. Know where you are getting your fruit from. If you're eating vegetables, which is something I wouldn't recommend, you should get those organic. Get organic fruit as much as you can and organic vegetables if you choose to. Make your own choice. And then think about your water. I've done previous episodes about water and why I think it's important to select your water carefully. Reverse osmosis is probably the best way to ensure glyphosate-free water. Your water could certainly be contaminated with glyphosate. Obviously, avoid grains, avoid the processed foods that I talked about in this podcast, Quaker oats, anything made with oats, wheat, all of those grains are going to have glyphosate. Incidentally, I think you should also avoid beans and soy to avoid genistein, which we know from that one study appears to worsen the estrogen, uh, estrogenic effects of glyphosate in animal models and potentially in humans. So avoid genistein, avoid beans, avoid to tofu, uh, get your water as reverse osmosis, and then think about other sources that might be um, contaminants for you in your life. So then you can repeat your glyphosate level and see how all of that is affecting you um, in your life. And then if their glyphosate level is correlated in any way, shape, or form. Further down the rabbit hole, there is another test from Great Plains Lab that you can do to look at all of the toxins that will look at multiple pesticides, multiple environmental contaminants. That's called GPL tox. I have no affiliation with them in this podcast. I just think that they do a good job with this testing. Hopefully your savvy medical provider will be order, able to order one or both of those if you have concerns about toxic uh, environmental exposure. So I think if you do those things, if you avoid uh, glyphosate in your water by doing reverse osmosis, and you better know that your water doesn't have glyphosate by doing reverse osmosis or checking with the filtered water company that you use or checking with the spring water company you use, doing grass-fed, grass-finished meat, check with the provider, see how much glyphosate is in that meat. If they feed hay, any exposures you could have there, Vegetables, don't eat them. Fruit, avoid it. Beans, tofu, don't eat those. Or do, it's up to you, but I would avoid. I would advise against it. And then avoid the grains as well. And I think you will significantly lower your glyphosate exposures. By avoiding kale in general, you won't have exposure to thallium. You'll also have a lower exposure to these heavy metals like thallium that appear to possibly accumulate in these leafy greens. And I think that'll be a good thing as well. You'll also avoid daxol, if you're not getting organic kale, I talked about that in the podcast as well. So your food choices, your water choices, your environmental choices, where you live, all of this will affect your glyphosate exposure. And I wanted to give you guys those actionable steps to move in the right direction.